we all feel that genocide is a heinous crime that the international community should be united to prevent and punish when it occurs. But we also know that because of its sensitivity, genocide is seen as something up there. You don't want to discuss it, you don't want to touch it. And indeed, even when what is happening could be defined as genocide, the tendency is to pose questions. Is it really genocide or something else? And both the perpetrators and those who would be called upon to intervene, to stop it, tend to be in denial. And so the approach I adopted was to demystify genocide by seeing it as an extreme form of identity-related conflicts. And these identity conflicts, again, as I said earlier, dichotomize people in a manner that is both uh, discriminating and in some cases actually uh, not just excluding and denying rights, but even causing a great deal of harm to the, outs to the group that is denigrated as not in groups and citizens. So conceptualizing it as an identity conflict, as an issue of how we manage or mismanage diversity, became a constructive basis for dialoguing with governments. And in many of the countries I went to, when I explained that approach, they would, from being negative about fearful of the mandate on genocide prevention, they would respond quite positively. In one African country, the prime minister said to me, when we heard you were coming with your title, we worried that you probably think that we have genocide in our country. But given the way you have explained it, we do indeed have problems of diversity. And we need the United Nations to help us in managing them. 